Right, good morning everyone. Now, I'm going to do a plaque, a wall hanging. It's going to be one with crystals and I've collected mine. So I'm going to share these with you. Let me just move these out of the way. Now, what I've got, first of all, we're going to do a white background to start with. And then I'm going to add some uh, silver and we're going to do acrylic. So, sorry, the resin. So I'm going to be using the class cast resins. Um, the two colours, or three colours that I'm doing is silver, pink and cream with um, gems. The gems I've chosen are these. They're just, you know, coloured glass, basically. But because it's going to be pink, um, I may put some of these in as well. Uh, because I might have to go over those. We'll see. I also have some of these in pink, a lighter pink. And these are gemstone. So the difference between those and those, these are glass. But these are natural gemstone. And every so often I buy a bag and top my little tub up. And these are, have peaches in them, so you get them from the supermarket. But the great storage tubs. So that's that one. I've also got this one. With clear ones in. Which are acrylic. But we can use anything. And then I've also got this, which is, I love it. It's, uh, again, it is gem. Multicoloured. But I might just put a little dash of that in. Because I'll see how I go. It depends how I can get the actual thing to look. If I get what I'm after, I won't need those. But the first thing, I'm just going to put all these gems down on the floor out of the way. <clears throat> and the first thing is to paint the background. And I'm going to do that in white. And then dabble on some grey. And I'm using the acrylic paint, which is the Dale Rowney one. I buy these in the big tub because you need a lot of white and black. <laughs> So I've got my large paintbrush ready and just dip it in water. Lift that up and we have to put one, two, three and that one there, four. And then we can lay this on top and, and then if anything drips, it drips down. Uh, and we'll move those over. It's to make up um, some of these colours. So to start with, I'm going to need a main colour which I'm going to use now with this uh, uh, glass cast it's um, hardener is 50% and resin is a hundred percent okay and I'm just going I'm going to need quite a bit but not too much if you know what I mean so the first thing I'm going to do is to measure this out by volume and in order to do that, I'm just going to use one of these cups, I think. Yeah, let's have a look. If I said that was, hmm, I mark my own out. <laughs> so this is where the ridge starts here. So that's more or less the same. So if I said that was 100% there, then half of that would be there. So I'm going to use this as my measure and I'm going to do two of those 
and two of the half. So this is the resin and I'm going to go right so that's one. I'm going to do the same thing again. No I'm going to do one batch at a time if I need more I'll make it up because I don't want to waste this it's uh, it really important that it doesn't get wasted and then all I'm going to do is to use half of that again like that to mix in with that make sure we've got all of that out <clears throat> that's near enough so just put that to one side and then we're just going to give this a really good mix so like I say I'm going to do um, I need four of these cups so one, two, three, and that one four. And when I've mixed this up, I'm going to split it between those. And then we're going to use one for cream, one for pink, one for pearlex, and one for the liquid distress ink. Now you do need a flamethrower, you know, to take the bubbles out. I have another one somewhere and I've lost it. Somewhere. <laughs> Might be downstairs. just going to put in a little bit of that one I don't want any more than that in there um, a little bit more of that one because that's the silvery colour a little bit more of that one and that I do need another one so I'm going to use the one I already had there we go so I've got these now to one of them which is this one I just want a drop let me just see what color that's going to come up as move these out of the way mm. no no, but what I'm going to do now is put some pink in that. Oh, wait a minute, I've got a little bit of red somewhere. We'll just touch it up. It's not going to be red, it's going to be pink. There we go, I'm going to do that. Just going to mix and match, and I'm going to add a touch of white. There you go. And it should come out a form of pink. Yeah, nice rich pink. Look at that. Beautiful colour. Okay, so that's that one. This one, we've got the pearl X because we need it like a... But it's a pearl. And it's beautiful. Look, it's got that pink hue in it. I don't know if you can see that. Look, beautiful colour. So that's that one. And we're going to do the cream. Like that. Another one of these. There. Beautiful cream colour. Now, I'm going to add a touch of white to that. I'm not happy with it. need to lighten that up a little bit that's it it had like a buttercream to it and I don't want that I want the white cream so we've got that one as well so that's really nice um and we do need a silver we'd um we just do so I'm going to take my um silver paint And just do that. And we have to then get on and move fast with this stuff. Beautiful, look at that. 
So, we've cream silver, pearl white, which is gorgeous, pink, and I'm going to put a little bit more of this in it, I think. I'm just going to mix these two together. Like that. And then add some of this pink in again. Mix that right up. That's it. That's perfect. That's the pink I'm after. I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So, what we've got to do now, I'm just going to move all of that out of the way. Oops, a daisy. Nearly dropped it. And we need to bring in the base. Let me get rid of that. There we are. Back to the little tubs. We'll put those down first. And those underneath. Move this around. Like that. I'm going to save some. I'm not going to use it all at once. You just have to move it around because this will flatten itself out. Well, it should. Just going to move that like that. Not fussed about it whatsoever. I'm going to add in some of the cream. Here's the silver. Gun. Let me just go get that and then you can see what I'm going to do. Okie dokie, here we go. make sure we get it's the pink I'm really interested in because it's got to look like a geode uh, that's the intention of it <clears throat> so we take it to the very edge on one corner I love that. <laughs> Beautiful marbling. That's really, really pretty. I do love that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use some of these and I'm just going to sprinkle them down the side here. And in between because they have to fill those gaps. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Now what I'm gonna do is just to put a little bit on this end as well. That's all, it's just like that. Move them about where you want them. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll be back. 